Hi, in this video, using simple shapes as an example, I will show you some interesting operations in plasticity. I will start a new project. The first operation that I have already shown is simply a radial array. I will create a sample shape here. Something like this. Now I choose the radial array command, specify the center point of the array, and by holding the shift key and scrolling the mouse wheel, we can set the number of elements. Or we can simply enter the number of elements here. OK. And now, based on these elements, we can create one shape. All shapes are selected, so I press Q to activate the Boolean operation, and then press Q again to combine the shapes. I click OK, and this way, we have created something like this. The second interesting operation is also an array operation, but it will be an array along a path. I will turn off the visibility of this shape. By selecting the spline drawing command here, I will create some geometry. OK, something like this. At the starting point of the spline, I will create a sphere. And so, I have the sphere selected, and now I would like to create additional copies of this element so that they lie along this path. To do this, I press the F key on the keyboard enter the command array here, and select Curve Array. Next, I select the path of the array, and along this path, new copies of the sphere have been created. Now, by holding the Shift key and scrolling the mouse wheel, I can add more copies. Or we can just enter the number of elements here. We click OK, all shapes are selected, I press the Q key to activate the Boolean command, then I select Q again to combine all the shapes, and I press enter to accept. This simple method has created something like this. Of course, the goal of this video was not to create such a part. I wanted to show you how the curve array command works. We will finish here. Thank you for watching and please subscribe to this channel.